Hey, it's Steve here again with webstarts.com. In this video, we're going to go over how to collect taxes within your webstart store by setting up tax rules by either country, state, territory, etc. If you enjoy the video and find it helpful, go ahead and give us a like. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be alerted when we drop a new video. Let's go ahead and get started from your account dashboard. We're going to scroll down and click the store panel to open up your store manager. Once open, go ahead and click your taxes tab in the left hand sidebar. And from here, you're going to set up a tax rule. Click the add tax rule button to get started. And then using the drop down provided, go ahead and choose the country you want to charge taxes in. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and set up one for the United States. And the first option here, collect the same rate for the entire country. That's going to be checked by default. And then you would simply just add a tax rate. We'll go ahead and whoops, add 10% and click add. Now that that's set, anybody from the United States making a purchase within my store is going to get charged a 10% rate. If I don't want to charge that rate across the board, no worries. We can edit that here by clicking the edit icon, turning off the collect same rate for entire country option, and then setting the rates individually per state or territory. For example, I'm in the state of Florida, so I'm going to want to charge 7% to anybody from Florida making a purchase within my store. And let's say I've got a distribution center in California as well. Let's go ahead and go up here and we'll enter the California rate, which I believe is 6.5%. Don't quote me on this. I haven't looked it up. I just thought that might be the base rate for that state. You'll want to make sure that you do check that before you enter these to make sure you're charging an accurate rate. Once you've added all the states that you want to charge tax for, you go ahead and scroll down and then click update tax rates. Note, and as it says right here, any states with a tax rate of zero, which there were many in my example, will be automatically removed. No worries. Click OK. Let's say you want to add another region or another state. We can do that by clicking Edit, and we can add a state here. Let's go ahead and click Arizona and Georgia. Click Add. And now we'll have the ability to enter tax rates for each of those states. Now, I'm going to completely make these up because I have no idea what these are. Let's say Georgia is 10%. Again, completely arbitrary. Just go ahead and click Update Tax Rates. And you'll see that those two states were added as well. Let's jump over and take a look and see what this looks like in practice. First thing we'll do is we'll edit this product. And we're going to make sure that we are charging taxes, which underneath the pricing, charge taxes on this product. So we're set. If this is not checked, regardless of what you have set under your taxes tab, you will not charge taxes for that particular product. You have to make sure that you have this box checked for any product that you want to charge taxes for. Let's go back to our products tab, click on that live product. And let's go ahead and add a green cotton t-shirt. Go ahead and check out. And no taxes or shipping collected at the moment, but as soon as I enter some data, and this is just going to be test data, of course. And let's go ahead and go from, we want to ship to Tampa, 33510, Florida, continue. As soon as I click continue, you can see that that 7% tax was added to my total. Two t-shirts, $10 a piece for a $20 subtotal. 7% of that would be $1.40. So you can see how that's added right here. And that's really all there is to it. Remember, these rates that I use were for example purposes only. Uh, please don't go by what I've added here. Make sure to double check your local tax rates before entering them and you should be set. Thanks again for using WebStarts and we'll see you on the next video.